Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Holy Romaine Empire, which is still the best empire name I've ever come up with in my entire Stellaris gaming life. Maybe no one else likes it as much as I do, but I really, really love it. Um, as a reminder, the first two episodes of this Let's Play were sponsored by Paradox, so thank you very much for that. Uh, if you check the link down in the doobly-doo, you will find out where you can play Stellaris for free this week. And there's a sale on a bunch of the DLC as well. A bunch of the stuff is 50% off, so do check that out. Now let's play some video games. So the HRE over here has uh, just started to expand past the initial world of the garden. We do have three science ships. We are playing with the archaeological dig site uh, origin, so I do have to start digging this pretty soon. Although for now, with my three science ships, I think I'm fairly happy to be booping around here. We do have enough energy to buy another scientist. I think I will. Especially since we know that one, in fact, two of our science ships are going to be tied up doing archaeological stuff fairly early. Found. So we're going to do that. And generally speaking, the faster you can expand, the better it is. Is this inter interference patterns? Oh, that's a second anomaly in Edor Vang. Jeez, it's a busy system. Okay, I might go to like 10 science ships early since we're going to get automatic surveying early. That's really good. I mean, it might be better to get the research station output, but it's it's very convenient. But the 25% survey speed actually does give you a significant boost of things. Complete. Construction ship done here. Please go and, well, let's manually tell you to do that mineral. And then I guess this construction ship's just going to sit idle for a bit because we are out of mins. I could, I do have a lot of food. I'm going to sell the food. I'm going to buy the minerals. Yeah, I think we will appreciate the game acceleration. Sonified science. Oh, that was the anomaly over here. Giving us a little bit of a science boost. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I guess we'll hook this up. You are building up. Salad bar. You are going to be building pretty soon. You have a lot of agricultural district capacity. I think you are going to be a farming world. Which might seem silly because our population only needs half as much food. That is true, but our alloys come from plants, so we are going to appreciate a fair amount of farming. Um, I think I'm going to plop this down right away because, I mean, as soon as it grows, it is going to need um, some job slots and it's going to need some housing soon. So we'll do that. That's going to be okay. We do have a farming sur surplus right now, but I think that is going to go away pretty quick once we get the alloy foundries, which I might be building fairly soon. Um, so that's our second colony ship going out to the Huff system over here. Secured. Research boot. Stars. Yes, to Unity. A hundred percent. That's a very easy uh, decision right now. And what kind of science people do we have? Um... So the 25% experience gain is very nice. Um, and so this one will level up quite quickly, Violet and Maple. But it is 16 years older than Basil Garland over here, which means it's not really going to keep its high cap as long. So I think I'm just going to go for youth rather than learning quickness, quickness right now. Um, there is a, uh, a research project that is different from the anomaly, so I'm going to go ahead and get one like that. Anomaly the found. Mining stations. And there's another anomaly in the system. That's a third anomaly in Edervang. Now, this is the person who discovers anomalies 10% faster, or 10% more likely, but that is crazy good. That is crazy good. Um, That's going to be a pretty decent system. We can have you keep working there. I think what I have to do is expand out to the Gauzer system. Reminds me of, what is it? Gozer from... Colonization. I want to say the second Ghostbusters was with Gozer, right? Or is that the first one? I don't remember. Was Gozer the guy in the painting in the second movie? I'm not sure. It's probably not spelled that way, but anyway. Anomaly found. Um, that's not too bad. That That's anomaly number four, though, in this system. Star now, system they haven't really been adding resources, which is too bad. Although, we this research project we're doing might still come up with something. Uh, I think... I will move you over here. We'll take that system. Mm -hmm. Well, is that worth doing rather than pushing out? It'll pay for itself and give us a little bit more science. Maybe it's okay. But obviously there's some good stuff over here. Gigantic skeleton. Situation Another special project. Okay. Okay, we are already having Empire Sprawl because of our extra population cost. But that's going to have to be okay. You do need more jobs soon. I think what I'm going to do 
Well, I guess I'm going to wait. I do want the Alloy Foundry. I was thinking about the, maybe the Administrative. I think that maybe the Alloy makes more sense sooner. I don't know. Actually, we might need to combat the Sprawl right away. We've already got three planets and fast population growth. Hello, Beta Aliens. Are you actual... Yep. This is an actual other player over here. Okay. Then, in that case... We're definitely going to prioritize expanding out in this direction. Try to snag as much as we can before someone Special else does it. Complete. Follow the fungus. Tracking the signal emitted by the mycelium proved to be a tricky business. Despite the best effort of Basil Garland, it was impossible to determine the destination of the signal, and the mycelium mostly remains a mystery. Despite this, we managed to learn a lot in the process. That is being brought back to the speed. I think I would have preferred 40 influence to 600 society research. Now, I mean, that's a fair amount of society research in terms of our yearly tech that is okay that is a lot of science right now um because yeah our tech's about you know a couple of thousand uh 2500 for some so it's going to be somewhere to between like 25 to maybe as low as 15 percent just finding on exactly what tech we're talking about at the time that we're researching so i mean it is a big chunk of science but i think the influence would have actually benefited us more uh we're going to research more projects over here because apparently there's more of that to do please and hopefully it works out better than mycelium but yeah i think the influence so that we could snag more systems would have actually been much much Star much more value i don't know I, I wonder if there's multiple different outcomes that are possible oh stagnant ascendancy are those the no i was gonna say they were not the beta it are you serious okay well we're clearly gonna be boxed in over here you are militant isolationist, so we're not allowed to grab... I can't grab this system because it'll be on your border. Okay. Well, I guess that's good to know. We are clearly going to have to find a way out this way. So, there's someone near here. We're boxed in over here. We've got nowhere behind us. This is a... Uh... Ooh, derelict ship. Yeah. Situation log updated. Grab this. Thank you. Um, part of me does want to go down the silence route, but I think it makes more sense to finish expansion right away. Uh, we'll take the... Well, saving some resources right now. What's a star base? No, we'll, we'll drop the sprawl. There we go. Hey, look at that. I mean, not that being five over changes our, um, our, our tech math that much. We can't... Oh, no, we can't grab the system. So maybe we don't even, you know, care about, um, serving it right now. Special project complete. Ooh, now that is very good. The skeletal remains giving us a ton of new science around this system. Although, there's no hurry to grab this system because obviously there's not going to be any competition for it over here. Okay, I'm going to send you out... Well, do this. Um, this level 3 over here. Well, I guess... Hmm. I guess continuing to survey over in this end does make Star sense system we need to expand out fairly quickly. But I was thinking these level 3s were going to come back and do the archaeological dig sites with them. I hope these beta aliens don't turn out to be jerks. Although, I don't know, maybe we can, we can stomp them early? We really don't want to be focusing on that, but we may have to. I'm going to go and sell a bunch more food again. Anomaly found. Yeah, we'll research that one. Here we're hoping for like an insta boost to science rather than actual, you know, um, stuff around the planet. Uh, on the basis that, again, yeah, we can't colonize this for a very, very, very long time. Not until we feel that we can take on the, uh, the, what are they called? Uh, the Stagnant Zensi, the Fallen Empire. Fallen Empire, that's what they're called. Okay, we're going to claim this, please. Thank you. So again, having more um, more influence would be situation very valuable updated. because we'd be able to claim more systems over here as quickly as possible. Alien logs, okay, that's just more missions for our scientists. Sure, sure, sure. I paused. Like, why is nothing happening? Durr. So yeah, I'm gonna send you to check out our system. So this one's probably Cybrex artifact. Complete. But our home system, I don't know what it's going to be. Special project failed. Womp womp. 
Construction um, complete. Okay, we lost a sign ship. Well, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to build some more science ships. We have the money right now, and we're going to have auto-surveying soon. Oops. Go. Star system charted. What do we find? Oh, rare crystals. Oh, right here. Nice. And yeah, at least this does go out, and in fact goes out in two different directions, so... Assuming we can get out over here, we've got a few ways out of our initial bottleneck. We've got to recruit some more scientists. We have another maniacal? Hold on. Uh, you over here are going to become maniacal. Congratulations on your brain upgrade. And you are going to pilot a ship now. Congratulations on something fun and awesome. You are level two. All right, tell you what. I'm going to get you to start excavating over here. We can do it faster with a higher level dude. On the other hand, the higher level dudes, I believe, survey faster and... Apparently that might be important right now. There's another dig site. We would really like to grab control over this system. Uh, except, nope. Beta aliens have already claimed this system. So we are already cut off over here. I may as well move forward and see if we can get a little bit more surveying before the borders close. So this direction is our only hope. Time carry unification. Uh, I think we need growth speed. Sprawl be damned. There's some unemployment going on over here. We should... I'm going to get the Alloy Foundry, because apparently we might do an early war. Grumble, grumble, Star grumble. Star system okay, charge. So you've actually lived there. Science ship, you are new. We're going to recruit... Um, excavation speed. Alright, I mean, you're only level one, but I'm going to get you to come over here and excavate that, please. And the science ship that's over here. I mean, I guess you may as well do this research project. Anomaly found. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we need some more production over here. Like, more jobs in a couple of these places. Um, I think I'm going to get you to do some mining. We don't need as much, perhaps, as other empires in terms of minerals, because we don't rely on minerals to turn into alloys. But we're still going to want a wee bit. Yes, anomaly discovery chance. Thank you very much. Oh shit, that's a dead end. I think... Uh, I may be wrong. I think we would see a connection at this range, but maybe not. Alright, go ahead and survey this system, then. More first contact stuff. Oh, they're all weird. Fifteen years of reduced happiness, more first contact skill. Well, the advantage of if we can complete the first contact, the advantage of it is we get influence. So that would be kind of nice. Oh, you don't have enough resources. You can't actually do that. So I'm going to get you to move over here. Yeah, I'm really, really boxed in here. Special project complete. Oh my god, it's the Rubricator. All right. Situation log updated. Rubricator it is. So there's going to be the Dragon World. Didn't we have that last time? I might be wrong about that. You know what's going to be annoying? We're going to get the um, quest line that gives us the uh, the bots that make worlds Gaian, like last time. We're like, what? We already we can already do that. I can't remember what that one, what those guys were called. Okay, so both of these are already being dug up. So this is the Rubricator. So this is going to uncover... It's going to uncover another system for us to, to survey that then has like a wormhole to a specific Rubricator planet. Something like that. I feel like it's something like that. Hmm. Hey, our factions are spawning. Um, oh yeah, we are spiritualist. We are going to ban robots, which will make the spiritualist happy. Happier. There we go, 65, which is giving us quite a bit more influence now. I mean, more factions are going to shake out soon. Star patterns. Um, I don't remember what this leads to. Does it lead to, like, mineral-rich systems or something? Again, having early influence is really good for expansion, though. I kind of want to Google it. You don't mind, right? Um, Stolaris star patterns. Um... So 
so you can lose the scientist, but it can also make a star give off more energy. Or go mad. I, you know what? I think I'm just going to take the influence because, especially now, I'm so desperate with us not being able to expand quickly enough and getting boxed in even harder. Like, we really need to claim a lot of territory over here. It's annoying that this is the, uh, the final of our three branches that I explore, and it's the one that maybe has the best chance at this point of being about... Hello, mushroom picking. On Cobb. Oh, the mycelium. Wait, so does Cobb... No, it doesn't have the actual mycelium category over here, but maybe it had an in trade? Okay. Um, fact, separate clusters are seemingly communicating with one another. The biology organism appears to be clearly alien to the ecosystem of the colony. Puzzled, the local science team has requested specialized support as we might be dealing with a sentient species. Dispose of it, gaining a bunch of influence and some food. Take a closer look. <sighs> Mushroom picking. I am. I don't know. I think this might be a new event. Because I don't think I see it on the wiki. <sighs> this is the problem. Because it's a new event, I feel like I should continue with the, the chain. But I was just saying how much it would be valuable to have the influence. It would be so valuable to have the influence. I think I have to do this. I'm sorry. We're going to have to look at the mushrooms in the future. Or maybe this will lead to some event change. Who are you? Militarist? Xenophile. Well, we're both militarists. All right. I'm going to do that. I don't know why the th phone is ringing like crazy here. Sorry. Just distracted. I hate when the phone rings. Phone is evil. Um... How's our minerals? Okay, not really enough to start a new build. Although our mineral input's pretty decent. Okay. That's where all right. And now, there we go. Yeah, we have now been kicked out of the space over here, which is unfortunate. Now, they close borders, but I'm willing to bet... Uh, apparently, I'm wrong. I mean, we might have some border tension. Should I be improving relations with you? Maybe? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send a spy over there. I want to get a little more info. And uh, also I'll improve relations. I don't think this costs us influence. It just uses up one of our advisors. I'm gonna do a little bit of work over here. Yay, for spy network. Mm-hmm. Anomaly found. We're gonna leave that for now. That is insanely long time. Citizen obedience. So those are authoritarians. And they're fairly pleased. Autocratic, stratified um, society. Through stratified economy, slavery, even purge. So I think because slavery is allowed, they're happy? Because we don't have... Oh, no, we have stratified economy over here. Okay, hold on. I don't know. Really class expensive, impoverished things. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's actually... So they're, they're, they're very pleased, which is all pretty good for our influence. Although they're splitting the influence benefits over here, but we're still at plus five overall. 5.33, in fact. Construction. I have tons of influence right now. Uh, one of the things we could consider when we unlock discovery ideas is we could run um, the policy that lets us uh, a survey faster, um, which might not be bad. This could also be very handy here. You know, just to keep our, our empire stable, keep people in the factions that we're really going to be working towards anyway. I think I'm, I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to spend the influence on that currently. Construction ship over there is done. Well, we're clearly going to have to go and claim this system over here. Or is that what the other one's already doing? The other one's just moving. Okay. Um, halt. Move to here. You who are nearly here, you're going to be building an outpost. Great. I want to finish this. And. So again, I know I want transcendent learning. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab it. Um. You know, the cap increase is big, and then the leadership gain. I really think this is really valuable. It makes these scientists just go crazy, and then we can explore the, the harder anomalies a lot faster. I don't know. I just think that's incredibly useful. Um, speaking of... Well, you're only level 3. No, no, we need to do some more exploration a little bit faster, so we're just going to send you out this way. 
This is a really, it's a fairly valuable system for the science. Um, I guess I'll research that. And yeah, this is a dead end confirmed. Um, it is pretty decent with the science, but we don't have to rush it because we know there's no competition. Okay, the Red Legion. I assume they're militarists. They would like it if I conquered something. Well, we'll see. They like my aggressive diplomacy. What is this? Failing to oh, we have to allow for offensive warfare. Yeah, okay, good. Um, how's our population? You need a job. Okay, well, you need more, more faster than everyone else. What I might do is get my temples going, because these will give us more um, unity, which is really valuable, plus um, society research. We'll get uh, a cobbler's going to need one as well soon. You're done there. Wait, don't tell me this is another dead end area. Is it really? Construction complete. Technology secured. Oh my god. So literally our only way out of our space is through these guys. Okay, so friendship was never an option. Start getting military tech right away. I mean, both afterburners and coil guns would be away. The other thing is some more minerals wouldn't be bad, but no, I think... Um, Good against shield, bad against armor. I guess if we're fighting another species, they're going to be balanced. This isn't good for spe clearing space monsters, but it doesn't really matter. Although I'm tempted to just grab aftermurners, just because it's generally it's going to be good no matter what kind of um, weapons tech we grab. I don't. I think it's very much break even. I guess I'll grab coil guns because if we don't get presented with lasers, uh, we'll be happy we've got that. And we could also just research shields if there's both shields and lasers by going this way. Yeah, that is a dead end. That's a dead end. That's blocked off by a fallen empire. The only way forward is through these guys. Construction complete. Well, we very much know what's going to be happening soon. Uh, this will be a decent trade hub later on. So I guess we really didn't need this many science ships, though. Hmm. And maybe we need the extra influence either. Now I'm, now I'm kicking myself for not going through the mushroom uh, quest chain. Oh. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm also very disappointed. So I guess there's no... doesn't matter what order I grab things in. It's not like I have to beeline the space over here. You know what? You may as well research that, because apparently we don't have that much exploration to do. You may as well come over here, because it's going to be a good system for us to get. And we are going to dig... Okay, X Gravitas. This is the uh, archaeological site on our homeworld. Base operation was set up. Several teams are now en route, collect uh, to the various anomalies, mysteries unparalleled. All right, we're going to get some minor artifacts. And these sciences, scientists are going to keep diggy diggy holding. All right. Construction complete. We're going to do that. Do those. Geothermal. Ooh. Bunch of energy and some engineering research. All right. Don't mind if I do. Because of the scaling difficulty, we really do want to boot these guys as soon as possible, too, because they are only going to get stronger. And, you know, declaring war will satisfy the militarists if we can conquer things. Technology secure. So this moon bump, this is the Rubricator chain on Kahines over here. I think this was the Rubricator. Unless the Rubricator was something else. Yay, automatic surveying of space that doesn't matter. Okay, well, there's a research speed, but shields. Okay, we will do one round of um, research speed boost. Star system Because I think we'll, we'll still need a little bit of extra time to get this going. Uh, Star I guess you're going to come and do it. this. Well, hell, I can put you on automatic survey now. Um, but maybe what I'll do... This is going to be slow, but level 3 is our highest level dudes. We're going to start doing some of these anomalies. Complete. Because apparently we've got nothing else to do. Complete. Do that. Please do these. Oh, this is going to be a tough start, you guys. This is going to be a very tough start. So we clearly need another star base here to collect some of this trade. It wouldn't be a bad thing to have in general. So we'll go ahead and upgrade you. 
It's Gravitas, it's on a planet. Um, destinations. Uncover highly accurate galactic laser pointers. Ancient machines that are emitting strong, tight ultraviolet beams out in space for purposes unknown. To bittersweet discovery, the profound, exhilarating importance of alien artifact countered by the seemingly arbitrary purpose. Okay. Space laser pointers. Sure. So you already have a temple. I mean, I could build more. Um, but... You know, research labs. We could also build another admin center here. You don't have a ton of amenities. You'll need a hollow theater soon. We... Oh! Hold on. Now, this doesn't actually add jobs. Hmm... Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a city district, because it will add at least a tiny bit of job. Um, more housing, which we'll need soon. Open up some more building slots. Because uh, I think I'm going to queue the guy to Cedar after that. Because I, I think starting that quickly sounds like a lot of fun. And let's go and get city district there, and one over here. I don't have enough there. I don't have enough there else. We have a breathing rift... Now, I kind of want the static science. I can't remember what this can lead to. I think this can give us a boost to science. I think I want to go and just add the static science over here. I know, I'm not, not following as many event chains as normal, but... You know what? We may as well research it. Who cares? Complete. Not like the science ships are in a hurry to get anywhere else. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Tomb World, Desert World, yeah, it's too bad about, um, not having a lot of viable expansion options. Don't we have a scientist faction? Like, materialists? But they're, they're, so they're not going to be pleased. Oh, wait, no, these are money makers. You want 5,000 bucks and keep the peace. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, what, what is happening here? Scandalous insult. Take an offense, misdemeanor, carry level one. Right. Oh, these are these jerk faces. All right. Well, the thing is, I may as well... How do I withdraw my envoy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about you. We can keep the spy network going on. That seems okay. We still don't know anything about their relative strength. Star system charted. Oh, I meant to say I'm running with the tiny outliner mod. Which is why my outliner probably looks different from you guys. It just looks normal to me at this point, because I this is what I run all the time. But it's a little bit more compact, gives you a little bit more information. I really think it's quite good. So I like that one. The tiny tiny outliner mod, uh, and then the tiny fleet is a sub mod to the tiny outliner. Both highly recommended. Um, wow, we got Hydra over here. Didn't notice the icon. We are the shield against Hydra. Or something. Alright, folks, we're going to wrap it up here. I'm very concerned about our start. The fact that we're so boxed in. We're obviously going to need some early military action. God forbid this guy makes freaking defensive packs with someone. Uh, oh, and I noticed we have negative consumer goods. Well, we'll have to sort that out soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.